Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Karex, and we are going to continue on with opening moves for Korea. We've just done a getting started uh, sort of setup guide um, where we looked at uh, a lot of the things while on pause. We, we took a look at the, um, the estates, we looked at the economy, we got some things going in production, we've done some initial uh, moving and grooving with our diplomats, and it is time now to get into the playing of Korea and, and execute on some of the opening moves. Of course, this is a run that we've done uh, on the Twitch channel, uh, a full run as Korea going for some of the achievements like the chosen one and some of the other achievements that you can get with Korea. Now, one of the things that's kind of tricky is we have a five-year truce with Zhen Zhao. We might actually want to just go straight up to speed four while we wait for that to kind of uh, resolve itself. The, this is actually a particularly kind of annoying um, run. In fact, actually, this is the second time I'm recording it because the first time I recorded it, I actually had the microphone muted like a doofus. Um, so uh, I was going back to listen to it a little bit and um, it, it turned out it was completely muted. And that's kind of a bummer because the first time we actually, I recording this the first time, it went basically as perfectly as it can. This, this is actually, this, this could be a little bit of a struggle. Um, yeah, this can actually be a little bit of a struggle. Um, fighting Zhen Zhao can be very tricky. They have an amazing general. They have uh, their entire country is basically mountains. Um, they have a capital fort in the mountains. That's a pain in order to siege. We might end up actually rolling additional generals just in hopes of, of getting some better better ones. One thing we could wait for is we could try to wait for the uh, the tech four advantage on them. Before we attack doesn't seem like they're actually deleting any of their troops this time which is to be fair not the norm usually they actually delete their troops down to like four or five thousand i think i'm reloading the game and that's actually fixing the ai in some sense i think if we had restarted the game entirely um i think the uh they they wouldn't have nine thousand strong like that. I mean, maybe that ends up causing them to go into a little bit of a, of a debt issue or something. We can get a we can get a royal marriage with Ming. Get an alliance with these guys. We might promise those guys land. Now, what can happen is these guys can ally. Uh, typically, Corchin. Yeah, typically we'll see an alliance with Corchin. Uh, these guys, if they get their own tributary states, good. That means Ming might declare on Corchin. If Ming declares on Corchin. This, this happened last time, and it, it can happen quite often. No royal marriage with these guys, though. We're going to be attacking those guys too quickly in order to worry about that. We will butter up Japan, though. The uh, the main shogun of Japan. Let's bring this guy back home. Start to get uh, claims on, on the different provinces. What we're going to want in this war is these three provinces. These three provinces. This one, because it's a mountain fort... That's going to be a pain anytime we have to fight these guys again and again and again. So we take this one. That eases that up quite a bit. These two we actually need. This one is the one we actually need for the mission. If we take this one, we get free claims on a big chunk of this area. So that's a, that's a really good one to get. Um, but it's one province removed, right? We have to take this one and then this one. Also, by taking these, it kind of means that Ming won't be able to, Ming won't be able to take them, which is kind of a nice little secondary effect there let's get all the way up to our force limit at eighteen thousand. although that should go up a little bit one of the things we have to do there was a mission that came up that said the plight of the peasantry um this is something that we have to finish by 1470 as the mission says so this basically to do this we need all of the development uh all the provinces in the korea region need to be six development or higher so we need to be devving up uh provinces now if we can get our income up here it says if we can get our income up to um, 15 ducats per month then we'll actually be able to do this and that'll give us a, a development cost discount which is quite good now there is a way that we can we'll probably end up uh, one of the things we can do is we can sell ming the renaissance we can boost up the renaissance we can sell it to ming that will give us a huge amount of income and for that we'll just have to develop one sort of main province which will probably be our capital this is something we're going to want to revoke right before we declare the inwards perfection. This causes a stability hit every time we go to war. It says plus one, but it's actually a negative. It's like a 
adding a negative. So, because um, it's saying a stability hit to declare war, we, we'd actually lose stability if we if we declare war right now. So we're going to need to actually get these guys buttered up enough that we can revoke this right before we attack Zhan Zhao. And uh, we're not going to be able to call Ming into it because they're not our ally. We are a subject of them. And we can't undo that. If we were to break tributary status with Ming, they would hate us. The trust would go way down here. And even though it says they'd be willing to get the alliance, they actually wouldn't. Because once we hit cancel tributary, they would they would change their uh, their opinion of us. Unfortunately, so it's going to be we're going to be a tributary of Ming for a good long while. I think since these guys have their own subject nation, they will not be tributized by Ming because they have like their own tributaries. So Ming is going to actually be attacking Korchun. Ideally, they don't attack too quickly. Because if Ming, if Ming attacks too quickly, they can actually siege out Zhen Zhao and prevent us from getting what we need here. Because Ming does usually desire this land. And that can be sort of like another problem that can happen. Right now it says they don't actually desire it. So that's that's good. Good. Probably because these guys are tributary status with Ming. However, as soon as Ming goes to war with Korchun, if Zhen Zhao joins, Ming is attacking Zhen Zhao. They should update their, their desirability to reflect the fact that they desire their subject's land. Um, because they won't be their subject anymore. I don't think you can be a tributary and be at war with them. We've already looked at a lot of the missions during the, um, the sort of the getting started. Basically, what we're doing is we're just cruising right here. Speed four. We're cruising till 1449, December 1449. I think, what could we be doing with our diplomats or anything? We don't really need to be building up claims on the other bits and stuff. Ooh, this guy actually is hostile towards us. Let's make sure we're giving him friendliness. He might give us friendliness back. It could be because we've had, well, why, 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 why exactly? Just because they desire this province down here. Is it this one? Yeah, apparently they think they, they, they're, yeah, it, it's whatever. We don't really need Japan to be in alliance with us. It's, it's completely unnecessary. But there you go. We have two to one troops, but I'm telling you, if we tack into the mountains right there against this general, we're dead. We're dead. We're donezo. Oh. Okay, we have uh, we have claims on everything, apparently. We've already got uh, three claims. Losing ducats to get prestige in, in... Now, we should be drilling... Oh, no, are we drilling our air? We are drilling our air. Good. I don't think it's worth buying... I don't think it's worth buying prestige. Let's keep rolling. Keep rolling. We're not really intentionally trying to go fast. It's just kind of a property of the fact that... Um, we we can't really attack anybody. We could technically set up and, and attack these guys up here. They're at war with Ming. They uh, they are officially at war with Ming. Uh, we have about a year and a half. Let, let's get this fort online. Let's see if we're still making money there. Okay, get everybody online. Get them online stat. It is, it is go time. Get everybody ready for war because we need to attack the second that we can. Because we do not want Ming to sweep through here right now. But ideally, we're going to use Ming to wipe out the desirability of Korchun to join the war and Zhen Zhao, Zhen Zhao's desirability to... Uh, hopefully, I don't know, just just hopefully Ming here... It, Ming, you're coming into our territory, dude. Get the heck out of here, man. Get the... Oh, ooh, wait a second. Wait, ooh, wait a second. Ooh, wait a second. How does this work? If we're stepping... Oh... This is our territory. I'm a little bit curious and confused as to what would actually happen if we declared a war on Gen Zhao. Would they be black flagged right now? Would they be black flagged right now? They're allied to Korchin. Year, yeah, Korchin. Uh, hmm. Taking attrition by sitting there. So are they, though. Let's get these uh, ships online. Let's get these guys back home. We should have thought about that a little bit ahead of time. We did not get this garrison up to full health. We do want that up to full health. We're going to be hitting this button soon. Can we, can we, can we get rid of this? Yes, we can. That's going to be gonzo. Inward perfection? No. No. I'm a year early. I'm a year early. No. We got a little ahead of ourselves. We can't attack for one more year. No, 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 no. 
We need these provinces. Yeah, Ming desires all of this land now. Come on, come on, guys. Come on. Defend your land. Defend your land. Ah, come on, come on. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Come on. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Half a year. You got to get that. You got to desiege this stuff, dude. You have to desiege it. You have to desiege it. Then you need to engage the Ming army. Get him up here, get him up here, get him up here. Hopefully Ming goes up to Yiren now. Or swoops down from like above there. Death from above, something? I don't know. These are mountain provinces. They're going to move back. It looks like the Ming troops are there. Okay, they're going in. Is that going to be a battle? That's going to be a battle. That's that's a mountain that's a mountain province. That's not going to be good for Ming. Ming's getting crushed on that. Okay, we have a couple more months. Oh, 40,000 troops coming in. I think we're done so over here, guys. I think we're literally done so. A like, courtship is not going to honor. Oh, wait, did they wait? What? No, they still have 9,000 troops. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. Okay, well, if, if he goes back to desiege his land, this could still be fined. Okay, we can attack him. Okay. Desiege this, desiege this. Renaissance is in play. Renaissance is in play. They're desieging this. This is all good. All good. Now, ideally, Ming would go up there and beat up Yiren. Oh, nope. They... Okay, let's go down to speed three. Let's think about this. Oof. We need them to desiege this area. I don't like the fact that we're taking attrition just sitting here. It doesn't look like that war is going to immediately end. We need these guys to be standing there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We've lost prestige, too. That's not good. Our fort's at full strength, though. Yes, yes, stand there. Please stand there. Come on. Nope, they're scared. We have to just attack. We have to just attack. We can make it for this province. I'm not sure exactly how you would deal with Ming taking. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. He's he's doing it. He's doing it. He's desieging it. Oh, you can do this, man. Oh, oh. Come on, what's 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 okay? We have the war goal. We have the war goal. And we're sitting in the mountains here. Ming will never take this. He'll ne Ming will never take this land over here. We need him to desiege his own land here. This is a mountain province. We can just stand there. He's now pinched. He can't go anywhere. He might as well sit here and desiege it. He's going up there. Yurin should be in the war against me as well, right? No. Yurin is not in the war against me. He is actually using troops to like land around. 
See, this is one of those... Ah, oh man, just kind of a tricky situation here. We have the war goal here. These troops are just running around. Eventually, that war is going to just resolve. I don't know why Ming... I guess, I guess these guys are not allied to each other, so... Well, I think I could be wrong, but I think if we actually are the ones that siege the fort itself, then Janzel will never surrender the land. But if he does it through the Korchin peace deal, then maybe, I don't know, maybe he could get away with that. I'm not sure. So there's a thousand dudes there. Where's the rest of Where's the rest of Janzel? I'm a doofus, by the way. We need to get our techs up. Tech three, so we have a we have a significant military tech advantage. Ideally, if Ming was sitting on this with us, that would be pretty reassuring, right? If Ming had like ten thousand troops sitting here, that'd be great. That'd be great. This is a Ming tributary. He can get all up in here. I think we're going to wait. Here, it looks like they're coming. Looks like Ming is marching right now. Time to move into here. That's a very deadly position to be, but hopefully if the Ming troops are nearby, hopefully they'll just kind of support us in the siege. I, I don't know if they will or won't. There we go. If we take the capital, then we're the ones sort of in control. We're the captain now. Keep buttering this guy up, though, even though he doesn't like us. Actually, buttering up Ming isn't a bad thing either. Maybe more so than Japan. We don't really need the spy network with Zhen Zhao anymore. It's unnecessary. We're going to get free cl claims on the, the rest of, of Zhen, Zhen Zhao's country. If Ming actually wants to kind of siege down the rest here and, and just zone out, ooh, nice. Good battle up there, especially if he wins it. Is that his entire army? It is his entire army, and he won. So hopefully Ming continues to chase it, chase down Shen Zhao's army there or just sit on these different provinces and harass. There we go, guys. There we go. This was this was good, but if Ming takes that province, then we're, we're in trouble. We have our... Uh, our heir is on the fort, so there's a good chance he could just die on there, which is great. <laughs> our other military leader that wasn't even on the field is dead, but not our heir. We want our heir to die. I don't think Ming can take this land. Ming cannot take this land unless he controls a fort. Like, a player would not be able to take this land without controlling the fort. However... Not unless you let the war go out long enough, right? You have to let the war go out long enough. However, Ming is... Well, Ming is Ming, so... Um, oh, it's only... Four, why is it only 40... 50%? Why is the percentage so low there? One percent should be getting a ticking war goal, but oh, eight thousand people there. Nice, 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 nice. I mean, it'd be nice if we had the rest of it siege, but I think what he what what Ming could do is Ming might separate peace out once we take the capital fort. He might just try to get a get a white piece with Ming. I mean, if Ming gets a white piece, then he's a hundred percent fortune, right? That's a good way to play it. It's a good way to play it. Could go up to speed four since we know that. Oh, uh, yeah, these guys here. Oh, Ming's navy's out and about now. Does this guy actually have any ships? He does. He does. I don't know where they are. Let's go hunting. Forgot that our ships were just kind of lounging around. We are actually making money, partly because we're probably still. No, we're not looting anymore, but we're still. Right as we stopped looting, we started losing money. Must be Yiren. 
Let's be urine chips. Yep, that's what it is. Losing more prestige, that ties into our um, prestige, which is bad. Gen Zia has no way to make additional troops, but he does have manpower to recover these guys. We're at 21% on this capital siege. This should be good. Once we get this, we can go up and beat up Yirin and hopefully get Yirin out of the war. This should be a 100%. Yep. Looks like there's going to be an engagement here. So it's like we got kind of lucky, but the fact that they never... The fact the AI just casually sat next to... The fact that the AI literally kind of just casually... I don't know, the AI was acting weird. What can I say? One thousand yeah, he's down to one thousand troops. This is not a fort, this is just a capital province. So that should be good. It is a mountain, though. Oh, looks like there's an engagement coming here. I mean, what's your war score looking like? It's a very expensive province. I don't know if he's going to take that. Plus, Ming's just trying to tributize these guys. I don't, oh, man, the worst thing would be is he tributized that but took all of this guy's land because this guy's not a tribute and he's not going for tributary status there. Yikes. Like, I don't know if Ming can take this or not, but that really is going to mess us up if he does. I don't think that choice really matters much there. Oof. Let's roll a general. Because we want a general. It looks like that's barely enough to stay above this. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> We knew this was going to happen. Oh, we got lucky. We got lucky. We got incredibly lucky. Now still, Yurin could attack those 8,000 and that could be very, very bad for us. Yuren should attack us here, but he, I guess he isn't. He certainly should. Let's go down to speed three. That's scaring me a little bit. Okay. Get Yuren out of the war. If we can just take like war reps and his money. That'd probably be fantastic. Okay. Now, this should be a 10 to 1 ratio here. We should just immediately be able to stack wipe these guys without too much issue. In fact, we're at 99%. I mean, we probably don't even need to engage. But guys, I think for the most part, this was a successful opening, if not a little dramatic, uh, for, um, for Korea here. Shouldn't be a battle here. I don't know how it deals with fractions of regiments, though. Yeah, no battle. Let's do it. We need this province for the mission. That one, because it's an incredibly annoying fort, we're going to humiliate, because why the heck not? There we go. That's the, that's the peace deal. Three provinces, humiliation, war reparations, and a little bit of gold. Done. We're definitely keeping that fort, but we are going to turn these down for now.
that was the cleanest. That was the cleanest Korea start I've ever I've ever seen. Um, yeah, that that's a painful start. That is a painful start. It can be, especially if you're fighting Korchin, Jin Zhao, and Yiren, like like actually fighting them. But I mean, the fact that they, the Korchin seems to be getting a tributary status on Solon all the time, and, and Ming wants to just attack because of that. It could be that Ming attacks Oriat and then they attack Korchin or something. But in this case, it just seems like I don't know. Did did Oriat? No, Oriat didn't join just like for fun yet, but. There you go, guys. So basically what we'd want to do, though, is we'd want to um, dev up our capital, which would take a certain amount of time. So what are the things we have with Korea, right? We mentioned this in the first episode. It's just an amazing leader, incredible leader. I can't believe our, our heir didn't die. So we'd want to dev up our capital. It's a good paper province. So we dev this up. We get Renaissance here. We get Renaissance here. Then what we do is we go to Ming. We come down here. We hit this option to offer knowledge sharing. This makes it so Ming will pay 10% of their income to us. Well, 10% of Ming's income is a huge amount of money. So it ends up giving us the ability to make over 20 ducats a month. And we could easily get tons of actual cash on hand so we can, we can get this uh, mission done. And then we just have to sort of sprinkle around a little bit of development amongst some of the provinces over here to get up to six development in every province hit this button before 1470 which is not that hard because i mean we'll have we'll have renaissance going and and tons of money going here within the next two years probably um admittedly it does require you know waiting for the points to come up but again an amazing ruler 655 um but there you go guys i think for the most part that's the opening to korea oh actually mm, you know no let's let's play it out a little bit I'll show you guys why. So I want to show you guys because we don't actually have this mission yet. A couple of things would be oh, Chinese diplomacy. Sure, sounds good. Well, I'm kind of being a doofus a little bit is because I forgot to actually take the uh, build to force limit thing. So I guess we'll have that mission for later. We'll have that mission for later. But the mission that we're um, that we're doing here for Zhenzhou province is this one, access to Mount Peikdu. So give us claims everywhere. Absolutely insane. Let's go speed four and let's play up till we, till we till those cores come in. I'm gonna do this yank land because we kind of need to be yanking land. Have a temple somewhere. Actually, I think I know where this is. Oh, being a doofus. I'm sure I've searched for this province before. Oh, it's our capital. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. We want a, tem a temple in our capital. Okay. This thing, I think what we want to do mostly is we want to actually spend our military points on the back end. So while it's while it's cheap, I think what we're going to do is, is we're going to go in with, with admin. Well, this is as cheap as possible, and we'll make sure to state that so it's a little bit cheaper. Encourage development to state local cost, development cost minus 10%. And we're just going to kind of go to town here. Seriously? Rip. Ah, rip. This gave us seven and a half percent more development cost. All right, let's let's hit the buttons here. Usually, like they have this window open, so I'm watching the bar go up. Okay. So in order, uh, we're only going to be able to hit this uh, five times. So ideally that'd be like 5% each, so 25%. So we still need to like force this up to closer to like 75% um, before we can start going in with the with the mill. 
should increase our income quite a bit though doing this. But realistically, we know we're going to have a lot of income. Let's build that temple here while we can. That's a beefy temple. It's a beefy temple. Although embracing... Oh, wait a second. That might have been a mistake. It's fine. It, it's so much money, it's going to be fine. But what, what's going to happen is we're going to need to actually embrace that in order to sell it to me. We'll take a loan out. That's fine. We'll, we'll take a loan out. It'll be okay. Because Ming's going to end up paying for it anyways, right? Ming's going to end up paying for it. So really what we're waiting for is we're waiting for these cores to come in, right? But while we're doing this, we're doing the Renaissance dev. And, and with this amazing leader that we have, it's easier to, to, to do this. Trying to get this up to about 75. So we need about two more clicks. Maybe about two more clicks here. One here, one here. Wow, level three skill? 50% cheaper? The crazy thing is, he's an army reformer, isn't he? Wow. Three and a half ducats per month. We can afford that once we sell this thing to me. No royal marriages with these guys. In fact, we're going to be breaking the alliance with them fast. Dropping that like a sack of potatoes. We need 86 Diplo. 86 Diplo, we can go boom, boom, and then we should be able to just hit this five times and get up to the, get up to 100% here. Cores are still coming in. Rebels are kind of doing their thing here. Let's get this online because that's where they're going to spawn. Here we go. Click. 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 There we go. Present. So it is present here. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how much is it going to cost to actually embrace that. 310. 310. We're a little short. In terms of the loan situation. Now this is going to have us losing a little bit of money. While we're reinforcing these guys. About four ducats a month. Now we're back to making a little bit of ducats. We can bring that down. Don't have to pay for that anymore. Cores are coming in. Mission's going to be done soon. We can get it one of these. We should get it soon before uh, an event takes it away from us. Tax modifier, always good. And it also reduces the nobility influence, which I think is kind of a nice thing. There we go. There we go. Take out one loan. Go to here. Embrace the institution. Take a diplomat, go over here. Ming would be running a monthly deficit. Ming, what the heck are you doing, Ming? Usually that's not an issue. Usually that's not an issue. Let's go over here, hit this button, access to the mountain. Look over here, booyah. Good claims right there, good claims. We can just immediately attack these guys if we wanted to and just boom, boom, boom. We could wait until the truce is over there. We could break the alliance here with these guys. They valid the Oria. Oof. Oof. It's annoying. They valid the Oria. So I think we'd probably end up attacking here and just, just beating up all of these guys. But that's kind of where we are. So we could just sort of work through that. No problem. Offer share knowledge. Here it is, guys. Here it is. Ten ducats prof profit per month. We're making 21 ducats total. Let's go. Basically, what we're trying to do now is build up a bunch of points so we can dev up all of our land up to six development. By 1470, 
we are trying to get 250 gold in hand. Hit this button. Then we get the discount to dev. Then we dev a build, build a bunch of buildings, dev a bunch of stuff. Come down here. Make sure all of them, all of the provinces in the Korean region, including this island down here, are six development. We do that. It's about 15 to 16 clicks. Like this one's three clicks. Um, three clicks, two clicks, three clicks, three clicks, one click. Yeah, one click in here somewhere. You add all that up, and uh, it's about 16 dev clicks. But then you get boom, boom, and you get to finish both of these. You avoid the disaster. There we go, guys. That is the opening move, Sir Korea. We're, we have Renaissance spawned. We have won the initial war. We've taken the mountain fort. That is the one most painful thing in this entire region. It's actually, I think, the only fort in the entire region as well. Um, and we have two really good mountain forts for defensive purposes. Uh, Ming is buying um, knowledge of the Renaissance from us for, for literally like 10 ducats a month or something crazy like that. Oh, it's only 7 ducats a month? Holy cow, they're not doing so well. They've lost a little bit of their income or something, clearly. Guys, thanks everybody for watching. If you guys have any questions, fire down below. Far, far away down below um and if you guys have any thoughts on sort of these opening move videos and uh, just the swat analysis uh, introduction getting started videos and stuff like that that we do for eu4 for all the different nations we have tons more of them in the playlist down below tons of different nations that we've done some random nations some based on nations that we've played full campaigns for some based on nations that we've done tutorials for more extensively but uh, for the most part, if you guys have uh, thoughts on the series and stuff, or the, or the style of, of structure of video and stuff, love to hear it. Read all the questions, uh, respond to most of them. Thanks everybody for being here. I'll see you guys in the next one.